So I'm glad you mentioned black officers back there. Yeah. And when we talk about institutional racism, we're talking about the entire system as a whole. We're not talking, we don't say fuck white police. We say fuck the police because the entire system, it's the entire system that is racist. I, my, me personally, while I'm... Hey guys, my name is Devore Darkens. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be responding to this Candace Owens clip where she uh, goes to a university uh, and she's taking questions. And obviously this leads to a debate and it's a debate on systematic racism. But what this video is really about is the mindset of when you're dealing with people who are not really trying to engage with you from a place of good faith, right? I'm sure you have faced some type of argument, some type of debate, some type of confrontation in your life. This could be with your spouse, people you work with, your family members, even people you don't know. How do you deal with people like that exactly? I want to give you guys some nuggets on that. And a lot of it, it comes from my experience as a coach, you know, coaching people in their life and for mental performance. Um, and a lot of it does have to do with your way of thinking that will help you do this successfully. So without further ado, let's check out this video. Let's check out uh, their mindset around this stuff and we will go from there. But before we do, you know what to do, like, share and subscribe. Let's play the video. So I'm glad you mentioned black officers back there. Yeah. And when we talk about institutional racism, we're talking about the entire system as a whole. We're not talking, we don't say fuck white police. We say fuck the police because the entire system, it's the entire system that is racist. I All right, before we continue. So this is a person who's already coming in to this engagement with Candace Owens from a place of emotion. She is emotionally out of control. Uh, now, some people believe, generally speaking, that when a person starts to curse like that, um, they have lost control of themselves. OK, uh, now I'm not saying every time you do a curse word, you're wrong. Uh, but this person clearly is triggered, right? And so when when you when you realize someone's behaving this way, like even if they catch you off guard, you have to stop for a second and understand that they are emotionally out of control. Do not match their energy, right? Uh, and the other thing is, she did make the comment about the whole system is racist. So obviously that is not true whatsoever. Um, if you were to remove your biases and you just looked at the objective truths about the system, the justice system, law enforcement, and just our country in general, it's not racist. Now, can you find racism if you're really looking for it? Of course you can. Um, could you misinterpret things that really are not racism as racism? Absolutely. And I think that's what's happening the most because of the media, because of social media, uh, uh, because of social media algorithms, people are being programmed to see things from a place of racism when they really are not racist, okay? Let, let's let's continue here. I, my, me personally, while I'm driving as a black woman in a Mercedes, I was pulled over. Driving while black, have you ever heard of it? I heard, I've heard of driving while and black. And it happens, it ha I it's happened to sometimes. all of my brothers, it's happened to my father, it's happened to my uncles. Okay, and so none of you guys ever broke the law. You guys are absolutely on your best behavior and when the cop knocked on your window, you were absolutely respectful and polite, right? I, I would love to see the footage on that, right? And, and see, that's what happens is a victim will make sure that they look for evidence that supports their biases, right? I don't have to look for evidence that proves that police are not racist. I don't have to look for that because the numbers show that. I don't, I don't have to look for every little thing to try to prove that point. The numbers show that. And in my own life, have I been pulled over before? Yeah. And you know why I was pulled over four times in my life? Because I broke the law every single time. So are they racist or what is it exactly? This is a system of racism. Bro, I'm not about to do this with you. And you know what? I'm not even oh, asking oh, a question. Oh. So look, she's, she's letting her talk. Right, Candace Owens is letting her go. This is what you want to do. When you come across someone who is unhinged, don't cut them off. Just let them go, let them go, let, let, let them get it out. And then you will come back with the appropriate response, right? Uh, and the other thing too is, again, this idea that everything is racist is obviously biased, right? It's not true. Everything is not racism. But people 
at the these universities in America. This is what they're being programmed to think, that everything is racist in our country. And it just is not. Because I don't I don't really I'm not down. I'm not down to sit here and sing Kumbaya and hold hands and talk about what we can change because we've been telling you guys if you have to ask us what our problem is it's no point it's so, no point I'm gonna you, say it again it. I'm gonna say it again and it's the exact same thing I said earlier I refuse to take a black person seriously that wants to talk to me about the point zero 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 four percent of black people unarmed black people that are shot by police officers and does not want to have a conversation with me about the 17 million black babies that were aborted no 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 whoa, no no whoa, what? whoa 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 and I, I have another video on this and you know this abortion thing is one of those topics in life that no one wants to have, but it's in people's minds, but it's not a conversation you're having at the dinner table, right? Uh, especially in the black community. The black community, we are not really discussing our ab abortion rate. That is not a conversation, okay? Um, we are more discussing things from a place of victimization, not from a place of taking responsibility. Now, I love doing my due diligence, so let me show you the actual numbers. Okay, so let's first look at this abortion study, right? And you can go look this up yourself. It's called pewresearch.org, P-E-W research.org. You can also go to the CDC and get this information too if you have patients. Um, but yeah, if you were to look at this really quick, I'm just going to bring it to the bottom line, okay? Right here where it says, in the District of Columbia, New York City, but not the rest of New York, and the 31 states that reported racial and ethnic data on abortion to the CDC, 42% of all women who had abortions in 2021 were non-Hispanic black, while 30% were non-Hispanic white, 22% were Hispanic, 6% were of other races. Now, understand something. If you think about how many abortions that is from a quantity standpoint, it says here, um, it's about 28.6 abortions per 1,000 uh, black women in 2021. So wh what does that mean? It means that we're over here talking about, um, let, let's do a comparison. So the amount of black people that were killed in 2021, and this is, this is counting, they were armed and they were unarmed, okay? 233 black people were killed by the cops. This is not taking into account, was this self-defense? Was this because they were attacking the officer or the officer was attacking them? They were armed or unarmed. It's everything combined into one, 233. So 233, and you're comparing that to 42% of abortions in 2021 were non-Hispanic black people. So this is what I'm saying. When you get people who are, um, you know, they're very emotionally triggered, more than likely they have not, they, they did not take the time to go do the research. As black people, abortion is probably one of the biggest issues in our community, hands down, besides marriage. But we want to spend all this time talking about something that happens. Like, think about it. Let's, let's do the math. 245 black people, right? So if I take 245 and I divide it by 14 million, which is the population of black people in America, that is 0 0.00001. That's crazy, right? Let's continue. You guys are boycotting. You're focused on things that, that are not negatively. More black people were struck down, got struck by lightning in 2016 than shot by police. More police officers were shot by black people than the other way around. So what it comes down to is this is a lot of motion and there's no fact. That's what it comes down to. There's no fact. True. And that, that's the problem in America is too. It's about everybody's feelings. And, you know, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. And facts just go out the window. Common sense goes out the window, right? And so we're not actually able to address the root cause to issues because we're so focused on people's symptoms and how they feel. That's that's our problem here. It is it, it is fitting that you came up here with a Malcolm X book because you articulated exactly the opposite of some of the stuff he said. But also, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, flick me off. That's tolerant and works. Um, you're right. Yeah, so I guess she flipped them off because, again, she's triggered. 
And this is the thing. You see how calm Charlie is. You see how calm Candace is. This is how you have to deal with people like this. Do not do not match their energy. You need to stay calm. You don't need to yell like them. You don't need to be emotional like them. Just stay calm and ask questions. Right? And just state facts. That's the best way to do it. You don't want kumbaya. This is why the left must be obliterated in America because they don't want to they don't want to agree with us. Yeah, so you guys have seen that, right? And this is what's happening, right? You're going to have people who are emotionally out of control just like this. And your job in that situation is not to do what they are doing, okay? The way, the way that I love doing it is very simple. If someone is clearly upset and angry and they're coming at me, I'm asking questions. And I'm asking, like, like she was saying, the whole system is racist. My follow-up question would be like, where'd you get that from? How do you know that to be true? Oh, the cops pull you over. Why did they pull you over? Did they tell you why they pulled you over? You see, I'm asking questions, right? Because at that point, I'm controlling the conversation and I'm getting this person to just kind of calm down. I, I don't, you're, you're wasting your time arguing with a fool because then you look like one, right? And again, the other thing too in this video, do your research. It's that easy. Just look up the websites and you'll find the information. It's it's quite fascinating. I'll even leave you guys with one that, that's really good. Check out this number. 10 leading causes of death among black people in 2020 and 2021. Heart disease is the number one killer of black people, not police officers, not systematic racism, not the white man. Okay. Um, cancer is second. COVID-19 is third, which I don't believe that to be true because there's a whole other scam around that as far as reporting is. Uh, accidents, unintended injuries. I keep going on and on. Look, homicide is 3%. So, like I said, guys, doesn't take long to do some research and poke holes in people's logic. Uh, most of it is not even logic. It's just emotion because the media and politicians... And social media has caused people to become more emotion uh, or emotional about these subjects and not actually um, thinking from a place of logic and truth. And that's really how you have to deal with these people. So that's my mindset. What's yours? What do you guys think about that debate between uh, that college student and Candace Owens? Uh, I want to hear what your thoughts are. What do you think about those studies that I showed you? What do you think about the abortion rate of black Americans? Let me know all of this and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.